Hello there. Yo, can you tell I've just woken up? Because it is Sunday morning. Happy Sunday morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently 8 a.m. and it's time to watch some Angel. Yes, we're getting on the grind recording early. Woke up 6.50 today. You know, it's my rest day. A bit later sleeping. That's my sleeping time anyway. Just a little bit of facts on me. <laughs> yeah, that's my sleeping time. I can't sleep in later than that. I know it's probably early for a lot of you guys, but that's my sleeping time. But yeah, today we are watching episodes 16 and 17 on Angel of Angel. Episode 16 is titled The Ring. Now, I'm more excited to watch Angel now this, after what happened in Buffy in the last episode. If you know, you know, because you never know. Faith might turn up. She might roll across Los Angeles and end up. You never know where that train is going to drop her off, baby. And we'll see. And as well with Adam, he could be gathering demons. His word spread to Los Angeles about this guy that's gathering demons. And that's a major threat to them. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is your boy, Ali Moses. This is episode 16 and 17 of Angel. Let's start off with the ring. Let's go. Flagon of Oprah in the morning. Children. We have company. <laughs> Children, we have company. Angel. <laughs> we already have guys beefing. Freaking Cordelia and <laughs> Willy Wonka. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. His name's Wesley. But like, yeah, already a little bit of beef there. Um, attacking each other. Is it going to be that situation again where they get together? With like, remember Zan and Cordelia kept always dissing each other and then they ended up getting with each other and it got to that stage? I um, might, I mean, just to see if it'll get to that stage with these two again. I'm there in McNamara. I, uh, Checked around. So you have the reputation for handling unusual problems. Every oh, they did a bad boys on us. People who did this. That's a bad boys too. Well, that, that's why I came to you. But they weren't people. It's been a while since I played, so I might be a little rusty on the rules. But I think my jacks get your pair. Oh, straight off the bat. <laughs> I'm looking for a fight. Oh man, I thought we were gonna get some casino angel right there. Oh. <laughs> you know, by the time you get done entering all this into your fancy schmancy database, I could have located Got it. it just. <laughs> That's that demon database, baby. That's the internet for you now. A howler demon. Yikes. Oh, if that's Jack's body, my guy got assaulted. Oh, these demons look like testicles. Testicle head demons. They look like Megamind. Oh, that was clean. You're quick. Yo, Angel just gives off that look and women are like, oh damn. Like literally, literally, just gives them the eyes. And they just want. Or they're intrigued at least. What is this Shang-Chi, bro? Demon fight ring? Oh, fly your knee! Oh hey, Masvidal style! Hey, that's demon on demon violence, man. Six minutes, 22 seconds. What is that, bro? Angel in 30 seconds. Should have seen what he did to the Howlers. Ouch. Wow. He set me up. Of course, man. Open up. See, like, I feel like, you know a recurring theme in the Buffy show is, like, no one believes Buffy whenever she has, like, the, an inclination, and she always ends up being right. In the Angel show, whenever someone comes running for help to the actual place, it feels like it's dodgy. They got something to, yeah, like, they set up Angel here. Last time the other guy ran, he was trying to steal the powers of someone, and remember, he was trying to sell off Cordelia. But, like, yeah, whenever someone comes for help to the actual place, it never ends up being right. I feel like Angel and co. have to find someone in need of help, and then they enlist their services. It's like, whenever someone comes running into the office, that's where you know it's bad news. They gotta be careful and do a check on each individual that comes asking for help. Look at those teeth. Teeth tell a lot about the bones. It's good. It they're gonna, the crowd pleaser. Yeah, they're gonna put him in the fight ring. Okay, I'm down for this. That's why it's called the ring, baby. WWE. <laughs> 
band comes off. And the only way that band comes off is after your 21st kill. 21? That's a lot. What's nine plus that? 21? I'm not killing anyone. <laughs> and you'll be killed. Either way, fans will get their money's worth. Angel? Guess how many vampires I've killed. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of beef amongst the inmates. I thought Angel was gonna try and attempt to start a revolution with them. <laughs> Yo, that guy looks like the stinky, the stinky Malus from, um, like the dinosaur with that head. Oh, this guy's gonna get wrecked. Oh, that's, that's assault. That's literally assault. What happens if you just stick your hand on a... No, no. Okay, I... Damn I, it, we oh. paid good money for that one. It's alright. It's an object lesson for the others. Love you. What are you, Robin Hood? Oh, oh. Whoa, it's three guns against one. As if they'd stop... Oh, listen. Look at Wesley go. Bro, Angel's just toying with my guy. He's just like on the defense. He's like, try and hit me, basically. <laughs> Those on your badge. And write down their license plate number 439er. Peter Charlie <laughs> Edward. What are you doing? My girl's like, show us your badge. And he pulls it out and he's like, yeet. <laughs> he just did a rainbow with his wallet. Oh my gosh, Wesley. You couldn't be more. Oh my gosh, bro. Gonna be more obvious. Doing? Why are you writing Sir, down? If you could just calm down and give us your name. My name is Matthew Winslow, as in Winslow Multimedia, and I happen to be a personal friend of your boss, Chief Tyler. We'll give him your best. Could I see your tickets, please? <laughs> well, the corruption goes tonight, deep. But we could just go on home. I think that would be a wise thing to do, sir. <laughs> you know what? They clutched up there. They clutched up. The guy could have questioned them a bit more and be like, where's your credentials? I saved us. Ugh, something's going down with the man. You idiot. What is this? These Octavian matches date back to the Roman Empire. <laughs> I'd heard rumors of a revival. Colosseum style, baby. They've just done West Side Story. Angel's gonna have to kill this guy, even though he said he's not gonna kill anyone. He's gonna have to do something. There we go. <laughs> His employees just saw him just dash someone in front of them. <laughs> and they're speechless. <laughs> if we stop fighting each other. Rebellion style, baby. I'm giving you another way out. This is Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> I'll kill him quick. Oh, he killed him straight away. Literally annihilated him. We gotta call the police. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Why? If by some miracle they're not already in on this, then McNamara would destroy the evidence the moment they showed. You get my hands on one of those cops, which isn't going to be easy. <laughs> unless you happened to procure one while I wasn't looking. Yep. Cordelia came up clutch. They didn't show it, but obviously the well, their client left it on the railing. That was the most exciting match I've ever seen. My favorite part was when you stuck Baker with the knife. Hey. Hmm. Why put off till tomorrow what you can do today? <laughs> Any closer and you'll be working for dead man. Check his pockets. Craven, Trepkos, any of you. A little help would be nice. Hey, you little wusses, help out. What did I tell you? Huh? Now you're really you're alone. Wow, what a shitty brother. Now he's my dead brother. Bunch of wuss demons right there, bro. Could have helped out. Could have helped out. Bunch of assholes. Act all tough on the inside. Don't even help out Angel. Wait, is Angel back in his office? Oh no, he's with this woman. Oh, charm your way out of How this. How do you feel? She looks like a lawyer. I 
think I was hit by lightning after the truck ran me over. You're a fight fan. And a lawyer. Let me guess. Bro! Wolfram and Hardy. Wolfram and Hardy. I'm an associate here. Bro! See that? She looks like a bro. I, I know, like, when you, when you, when, like, not to tip my horn, but you're doing a law degree and you know what they dress like, bro. They're not, they're not that flashy, all right? You can pick out the lawyers when you see one. <laughs> I took some arm twisting, but I convinced McNamara to sell your contract to the partners. Oh, that's, that's bad. That's bad. I told him that keeping you around would be more trouble than it was worth. Thanks for the champagne. Bro, you think my guys is gonna take up a duel with Wolfram and Hart? Get out of here. Relax. Stay calm. Wait. Did he voluntarily just ask them to take him back to the, the ring? Because my guy could have whooped their asses and literally straight gone back to work. And then maybe solve the thing with Wesley or like plotted a plan to infiltrate that base together. Mind. I'm trying to concentrate. That's also the problem with being a public yes, business. They know where to find Angel. The text. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't help you before. They're not going to help you now. Okay, you know what? One of them knows the only way out of here is by himself. You know what's You'll funny? Find... Like, like this guy should actually be scared at the moment because my guy voluntarily came and put the thing back on. That's a dangerous man right there. Like, we know Angel's dangerous, but a guy that voluntarily comes back when he was free, oh yeah, he's got something planned, and this guy should be very afraid. He's a bit, he's a bit blinded at the moment. That out soon enough because tonight you're gonna fight trap calls. This also gives me Spider-Man 1 vibes with um, Bruce Campbell and the announcer and the ring and Randy Macho Man Savage and yeah, it gives me those kind of vibes as well. Early 2000s. No introduction. This March is 21st and final fight. I'll kill you, Quinn. I won't let you. <laughs> I want to see this fight play out because this guy seems like he gets his fights done in about two seconds. Let me save Angel and I'll get you out. All of you. If we band together, <laughs> give that back. Hey, come on, Angel. Use that 200 years of experience, baby. Longer. Oh, he almost got staked through the heart. That would have ended bad. That's gold, my man. Come on, Angel. Where's where's the morale boost? Where's the fight back? My man, suck up, take the L. He had you beaten, and you did nothing. You're just a slave, man. Like he said. Like he said. Yeah, the revolution has begun, Korg style. Bro, 10 bucks, that guy's gonna fall into the pit of demons and get absolutely slaughtered. Like the, the, the brother guy. Hey, go back to Wolfram and Hart. I'm guessing that's not the last to see of that lady as well. She is a sexy lawyer though. <laughs> Told you we're gonna fall into the pit and get absolutely annihilated. Stupid slave. <laughs> oh that oh he he got wrecked. He got wrecked. I could have taken you. <laughs> he did take him, like he got he had the better of him. Angel, you don't look so well it's a good thing you heal fast. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, they're laughing their way to the Freaking rob the bank. We'll actually do me set <laughs> a bunch of demons free. Yep. Oh, well. We'll do that problem later. Technically, yes. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> Listen, that was actually a fun episode with this sort of like 
I don't know, gladiator um, Colosseum like demon underground thing. And we've seen, uh, it kind of reminded me of like, I just saw Jurassic World Dominion and it was like very similar to the Malta scene where they had the dinosaurs fighting in like sort of underground illegal, um, uh, like, I don't know, just battle arenas. And yeah, this one was similar. It was a nice episode. Obviously, Angel turning the demons um, into sort of like making them realize that they're not just slaves because they have to get the 21 wins. And then you saw from the beginning like what the character arc was going to be with certain demons and that they're going to help each other in the end and start a revolution. So like a pretty predictable episode. But a few teasers in there as well with Wolfram and Hart, um, especially trying to enlist the services of Angel or sort of to create an allegiance with that lawyer character. Um, I'm guessing she will pop up again. But yeah, like just like a fun episode, another sort of like not monster of the week type episode, but like issue of the week type episode. Um, I, I think Angel um, Investigations has to stop stop taking clients just at face value when they come in and ask for help because they've been gypped twice now. So they got to start being careful with who they pick. But yeah, um, it was a fun episode. Like nothing too amazing with the story. But yeah, we moved like it was a nice, neat little spin. Kind of reminded me of like Spider-Man 1, um, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1 and then other movies as i mentioned before um but yeah hunger Games, shang chi like quick little arena walls and that's it with the demons and underground stuff going on in los angeles there's other shady stuff going on as well but yeah we move on to episode 17 of angel all right ladies and gentlemen moving on to episode 17. maybe we can make a break for it titled possible eternity maybe spotted instantly Oh, that's so dog. They were talking about leaving Cordelia's acting play. Oh, that's slack, man. That's slack. Many years from now, when I've lost my looks a little, do not laugh. The boys are like, pardon me another hour. <laughs> I mean, the boys. Of course, a time will come when Torvald is not hard. What? I was working him all night and he gave you his card? I thought I had a quality. <sighs> Look who he's with! Can you please go now? Rebecca Lowell. Is that LA, bro? Is that LA? Like, literally LA? You could be walking down, like, just a normal street, and then all of a sudden across the roads, all these, like, celebrity paparazzi stuff, like, partying, and you could just be walking around, like, normal, like, angel... Um, Cordelia and Wesley right now coming from like just a normal play or rehearsal then bang you just have some sort of hit party going on down the road is that LA is that the same today still Raven! yep we're just gonna run over an actress yo Angel, Angel took one right there took one for the team I'm so glad. Uh, oh, yeah. he doesn't even know who you are. <laughs> oh, Cord Cordelia's just starstruck a bit. Sure he doesn't. I'm sure he'll accept a small reward anyway. No thanks. We're not going to be held up here. Oliver Down, he doesn't know who I am. He's culturally retarded that way. <laughs> culturally <laughs> retarded. Angel. So... You make a habit of this sort of thing, Angel? Oh, it's only like his purpose in life. A pal around or something. Call us. Let go. Cordelia needs to learn to restrain herself at certain points. But yeah, she'll star chuck and she'll just have the opportunity. And anything for herself gain sometimes as well. I made the papers last night all over there the front page of the couch. There we go. There we go. It was right there next to Rebecca. That's my elbow. Guys, can we just forget about Rebecca Lowell? I mean, we ran into. I feel kind of sad for Cordelia because she's so like, she's so like determined to pursue stardom in this like LA like sort of lifestyle and um like we all know probably Charisma Carpenter was a big star at the time, but playing that certain character that's pursuing stardom, you kind of still feel sorry for her at points because she's like even excited just to see her elbow in her picture. Um, she's not quite there yet. So we'll see what happens with her journey for that. Because no matter what happens with Angel, she still has that side quest or like the main quest to pursue stardom and fame. So. An actor, it's Hollywood, it happens. 
I'll give you a private screening of the episode I didn't win the Emmy for. Netflix and chill, baby! Thanks for the invitation, but, um... Look, I've been famous since I was 14. It's refreshing to meet someone who doesn't care. Wow. Seems like you're surrounded by people who care about you. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's so interesting when you're so famous and stuff. It's just like, you see people constantly on a day-to-day -day basis, basically worshipping you and like freaking idolizing you and just like simping towards you and just like freaking sucking up to you and then you meet that one guy who's like yo i don't know who you are like i frankly don't care i don't know and it probably p takes you back a little bit when you're famous like oh damn like shit like there's someone that actually doesn't know me that's that girl at the moment but like yeah but i can't take your case are you insane? why <laughs> she was easy. I don't understand. <laughs> Give that information to your people. They'll find the guy. Oh no! Not now! Oh. <sighs> What's the size thing in my bosom? She's oh. faking that. 100%. It's a figure. A woman. It's Rebecca. She's in danger. <laughs> danger. Danger. <laughs> Cordelia can't act for crap. <laughs> Do anything to live in her world. Make this incision behind the jaw and under both eyes. And I think Cordelia is. I think she wants that stardom so much that I reckon she might be shocked once she actually gets it and all the obstacles, all the baggage that comes with it. She might not want it. But yeah, like, you know, that's the goal for me. Once you make that one connection in Hollywood, I don't want to lose it. But it's getting that connection, and at the moment, it's very, very barren. But you got to keep networking, you got to keep trying, baby. But yeah, um, it depends. I guess different people become adapt differently to fame. Like, I feel like some people change for the better. Some people change for the worse. I feel like, I don't know. What would you be like if you got famous? I feel like for me, I just remain the same. Like, just stay with myself, continue my same habits. Don't change my life just to suit that fame. Obviously, some things are going to have to change. You're going to have certain commitments stuff that like that that happens like that but that happens when like you get a new job and stuff certain commitments happen certain um things pop up and that happens with the fame as well like your job is to act your job is to direct and you're gonna have commitments with that but i'm not gonna change my entire lifestyle i'm not gonna change who my who i am because of it that's my opinion obviously some people change because of it um i feel like or like i hope i would just remain the same old ellie so We'll see. I like that we're seeing a bit more of this Hollywood lifestyle and depiction of an actress. Because, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, you're constantly meeting people, like I said, that are sucking up to you. You're meeting, like, producers. You're meeting, like, these people, well-known people. These people in the industry trying to get a job, trying to benefit off you. Or they're trying to benefit others. And then she's met Angel and it's like a down-to-earth guy that doesn't know you. That's why she's attracted to him. <laughs> Clutch, baby, again. Oh, the reflection. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, he did the disappearing thing on her. Yeah, she low key knows. She low key knows. She's suspicious. That was a nice way of doing it, actually, because, like, yes, Oliver. of course, famous person has a massive sure. mirror in the living room. I'd rather be alone tonight. No reflection. Dark, private office. Instantly knowing those letters weren't written in blood. I guess what you think is vampire. Again. <laughs> Which is impossible. She narrowed it down. Bella Lugosi, Gary Oldman. They're vampires. Frank Langella was the only performance, I believe, but... This is real. You're not a killer. I gave that up. Well... There's a support group for everything in this town, I guess. Long story. How long? A pretty long Hundred story. Years? Two. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo! Get it hot in here. I'm really not afraid. Make a joke. I really told her. Wow. So do you think she still set me up with her manager? <laughs> All the self-interest stuff still creeps in for Cordelia, man. She has her own personal goals. She's not going to stop. Enough time to play the game. 
Yo, Angel's basically her personal bodyguard 24-7. She better be paying him well. Thank you, Maria. Yo, I like this episode. Yo, Angel looked good. Fire in that tux! My driver knows to meet me out back. God, if I had to sit through every one of these, I'm sure Gordon would kill me. Back up. Bro, that's twice he saved her out. Actually, three times. Three times. Yo, this actress can't catch a break. It's GTA. She's got a bounty on her ass, and the whole lobby's on her. Not again. You alright? I reckon it's low key her manager, bro. This guy pops up at the worst places. I reckon he's trying to assassinate her and cover up. This is this Steven Spielberg looking ass motherfucker. I thought the publicity might help you get the series. By hiring people to kill her, you dumbass? I don't pay you to love me. <laughs> no. That you get for free. Then nobody stays young forever. Angel does. Oh, don't tell me she wants to become a vampire. Oh, she giving him that look. That'd be actually crazy. <laughs> Angel slipped up by telling her. I got the preliminary forensics report from the theater. The bullets were blanks. No, I'm afraid they were blanks. Killer used blanks. When he's not a killer, when it's a fake. Oh, yeah, because it was set up by the manager for the publicity. I don't think she knows, and I don't know how to tell her. So, what's his story anyway? How did he oh. become what he is? She is uh, using Cordelia to the max here for information exchange and Cordelia's just blindsided by her freaking pursuit for stardom that she's probably gonna tell her anything she's definitely using she didn't ask her out as a friend bro like come on Cordelia she needs to yeah she's just blinded at the moment oh god you got eight hours I've got all day <laughs> see right there I won't do that again didn't work I didn't get the part I'm sorry. You know what? They could make a movie on those assassination attempts. Yeah. The life of the starter for her. Like a biopic. They're trying to get assassinated moving on with life. They capitalize on that. Oliver doesn't know, man. Missed opportunities. Hire me. What are the odds the champ? No, I was about to say it's poison, but she needs Angel's fangs, bro. I'll, I'll be right, right back. <laughs> Yo, Angel gonna take his shirt off. She's gonna spy on him. Oh, she's gonna spike the drink. Bro, he's an, she's an actress. She's playing a part here. She's too good at this stuff. Hopefully Angel's good at it you too. You know, the next time I try something so corny, I promise not to ruin your wardrobe in the process. Hopefully this poison stuff doesn't work on vampires. It's why I have to help people now. <laughs> I'm trying to atone. Yo, it's affected Clearly Angel. Says you've saved the world. It's affected Angel. A book smell. It's so good. Imagine Angel's playing a part as well. And he's tr he just does her in 4K. So like straight up Rick Rosa. But I think he's possessed at the moment. Not possessed, but like like literally getting absolutely you don't have to. played. You can have what you've been craving all these long, empty years. Bite me. Do it. Oh, no. <laughs> we won't have to be lonely, either one of us, ever again. Does she realize that if she still wants to continue her acting career? Like, you can't just film during the day then. Like, she has to do sets only at night. And then when, like, the production companies or, like, all the workers will be like, Why does that have to happen? Won't they become sus? Surely there's demons working in the film industry as well. Like, <laughs> you don't know what it is you're asking me to do. Look into that mirror, and all you saw was yourself. If that's all you ever see, Rebecca, and that's what really frightens you. Woo! This isn't about the way the studio or the pew, 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 pew. fans see you. It's about how you see yourself. Shots fired. Your own reflection has been corrupted into something unrecognizable. Call nine one one. You think you want it to stay the same? This is a freaking character. Really to make it disappear. Destruction right here. 
You're supposed to help people. Oh, he helped you, all right. Help me. He just put the you truth out you? on the table. Fine. Oh, 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 oh. What'd you just do, Angel? Angel just spazzed. I'm sorry. I... Yeah, now he realized. He put something in my drink. So sorry. Everybody, so sorry. Vampire time. I just wanted us both to be happy. Oh, but I am happy. You are? Yes. Oh. Perfectly happy. Oh no. We got Angela's back for a little bit. Oh god, I love this stuff. Wow! <laughs> Remind me to get the name of your dealer before I kill you. Angelus is back for a little bit, baby. Kill me. In what? all my years, I never killed a famous person before. Working? <laughs> Yo, he sent her. Bro, it's her fault. She spiked him. Spiked. Get it? Hey. Oh, no. I'm a vampire. Well, they always mistake me for the character I play. They never see the real me. <laughs> I'm... I just wanted to... Be like me? Hey, can't say I blame you. I'm one happy fella. Not running anymore. Now that I respect. <laughs> Women. Well, I may have given him something to help loosen him up, and now he's loose. <laughs> what did you give him? Does it matter? Timol. Doxy what? Powerful tranquilizer. It induces bliss. Bliss? As in bliss? Sheer contentment? Perfect happiness? <laughs> it's synthetic, not true happiness. This is really good stuff. Yo, Just this is this ain't Jurassic Park. Looks like somebody didn't pay the power bill. This is Angel Park. <laughs> Angel's on one. When Torvald is not as devoted to me. Yo, even Angel remembers the lines. <laughs> you were really, let me tell you, that. Stop. Why? You didn't. I mean, I've been to hell, but that was so much worse. Oh, that's that's bad. <laughs> that's a straight diss. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Everybody was just laughing so hard. Fresh from a mountain spring delivered right to our door, then blessed every second Tuesday by Father Matthew, the local parish priest, while you're down in the bat cave, sleeping through the better part of the day. You don't believe me? The Oscar goes to <laughs> Cordelia did well there to be fair. Oh, Angel got sent. Yeah, he's gonna wake up with a hangover. <laughs> hey, necessary precautions. I'm so sorry. Can I get another reading on that line, please? <laughs> Angel got to be a lot more careful now, man, because we can't... Fine line, Angel. Yeah. I don't envy you. Nice moves up there. Shout out Wesley, bro. He came in clutch. Forget about it. But I really didn't mean oh, it. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> and I'd appreciate it if you didn't try to weasel out of it. Angelus may not be the most relaxing company, but at least he's honest. <laughs> hey. Should I expect the same from the not evil version of my friends? He did. He did spit the truth. Like so he you pay them. went in. Give a person to let something so petty get in the way of our friendship. Hey, friends! I yeah. that. <laughs> You're not gonna untie me, are you? <laughs> Guys? Guys? <laughs> hey that was probably one of my favorite episodes of the season actually like it was actually i really enjoyed that episode like it, i thought it was gonna be sort of like another monster of the week type thing with angel sort of helping out this actress but it turns out this actress like there was no singular villain in the episode obviously 
the actress sort of assassination thing was all a ploy from her manager to try and get her a gig so it was all fake so she was never really in danger but it was all about angel creating this connection with this actress and then also the meaning of her trying to live like sort of an everlasting life and sort of stay young but then angel was basically spit out the truth to her you know you saw your reflection and you wanted that to disappear you wanted yourself to disappear and um she wanted that life and then she spiked him and then sort of angelus became like the villain at the end when he was just spitting all the facts and truth to everyone even cordelia wesley rebecca everyone everyone was copying it from him and i guess it's sort of like another warning shot or like a warning for everyone watching the show as well that these potential things could happen and jealous could return like that it was basically that drug that got him and yeah i guess wesley and cordelia despite at the end saying oh you know what let's forget about it they're not going to forget about that single thing that just caused angel to go back to angelus again because it can happen at any time someone could drug him again he's just got to be more careful you know it's not that's just that happiness with buffy that caused him to turn there's like simple drugs that can cause that synthetic happiness and then bang angelus is back baby and he was back with a bang i'm interested to see if rebecca will come into play again because i felt like there wasn't a lot of closure with angel confronting her at the end and trying to like apologize because she caused that and hopefully they can come to some sort of understanding i don't know if she'll come back into the show but yeah definitely like that like sort of hollywood stardom episode because it affects cordelia as well you see cordelia um how much she basically was starstruck and basically became a little bit annoying because she put her personal interests and the personal goals in front with everyone and she was like especially when rebecca was confronting angel she was basically in her face and everything and she didn't know how to have that composure but yeah it was a good episode i really enjoyed it one of the better episodes of the season I enjoyed that sort of like hollywood vibe that la lifestyle baby i enjoyed it anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed my reactions to angel episode 16 and 17 ladies and gentlemen the ring and eternity pretty good ones pretty solid ones now we're back to buffy as always been your boy the most take care god bless peace Thank you.